How did you tell your parents that you were quitting your job to start a startup? So my mom, I hope I don't frame her really badly on YouTube. My mom is not really supportive. That's why I spoke with my dad and that's my dad's job to convince my mom. <laughs> when I told them that hey, I want to do a business, they were very disappointed. I was getting good offers and everything from multiple companies. When I told them, hey, look, uh, I have this offer and I have turned it down. And my mom was like super disappointed and it took her three years to get out of the disappointment until we have a proper office. I haven't really. <laughs> I think my mom kind of knows. My dad definitely doesn't know. Every time we have phone calls, he's like, how's work? And I'm like, work's great. <laughs> joking on it or they thought I was not very serious so I had to actually pitch them. I made like a full-blown pitch deck on Google Slides, put everything in it, what my market size was going to be, what well, I even had a forecast at the time which was completely BS. <laughs> so I basically pitched them everything over uh, Facebook Messenger and that was how I told them. <laughs> I think it's always an interesting story here. Mine is very specific because my parents remind me of it all the time. I did not consult my parents before quitting my job and I did not consult them before starting a startup. Um, I let them know after both had happened. I started out by sending them an email that said, I have really good news, you should call me. And they were like on vacation somewhere. And they called me and they said, what's the good news? And I said, yes. And my dad says, did you get a promotion? And I said, yeah, kinda. And my mom asked me whether I got married and I said, no, mom, I'm not getting married. I was like 22 at the time. And then they were like, what happened? And I said, I quit my job. And then my parents was just silence, just silence on the phone. And finally, my dad was like, how is that good news? And I was like, oh, I have another job. He's like, oh, fantastic. Okay, what's your other job? And I was like, I'm starting a company. And he goes, what do you mean you're starting a company? I was like, I'm starting a company. And he goes, what does your company do? And I said, I don't know. And then he goes, what do you know about starting companies? And I said, I don't know very much about starting companies. And then he gives me this long lecture about how he was really excited because I, I had graduated from college like 12 months earlier. And he was very excited because I was like a self-sufficient adult that he had cut off. Like he was not giving me any money. I was living on my own. He was like, fantastic, you're an adult. And he was then talking about how he was so happy because my younger brother had also recently graduated from school and was also a self-sufficient adult. And so I was like ruining his like feeling of my children are grown and adults. And then he goes, well, at least one of my sons, he only has two sons, one of my sons still has a job. And then I told him, yeah, you should call him. He has something to tell you too. And what he didn't know at that time was I had also convinced my brother to quit his job and start a company. So that's the story of how we told our parents. My parents uh, found out that both of their children had quit their jobs in quick succession. And we're not that happy about it, if I'm being honest. I think they already knew I was working on something, but the actual moment when I told my parents I was quitting my job was when I already quit my job and I was on the last day of my notice period. So I went out for dinner with Kevin and I took a picture of me celebrating with a cup of whiskey highball and I said, I quit my job today. <laughs> That's how my parents found out. So it was terrible. I think they didn't expect me to tell them over text. But you know, Asian families and um, not saying things directly, that's how it works. Guess culture. Guess culture, that, that's it. So when I returned and, and broke the news about uh, this startup laying their looks on the faces, my father was like, didn't talk to me for, I think, a month. <laughs> because he's a, a very like, you know, well-renowned medical professional in Myanmar and he was really like thinking that I will follow his steps over time. They saw my passion and dedication and while I think they might still secretly hope I'll wear a white coat again, but I think they now really, really appreciate like the path where I'm taking and, and uh, you know, like uh, the impact I'm doing right now. It, it was that three years, every day I would go home and I would look, have you seen your friend has bought a car and, and they're traveling abroad? I'm like, yes, mom, I have seen that. I'm very happy for them. I think you should do that too. What are you doing? I don't understand. You have to get married, so so think about it. They won't. You can't get married if you keep doing this for a very long time, right? There is a notion that if you can't do anything or can't get a job, you do a business. So that is the notion here in Bangladesh. Switching from that 
was kind of hard for them to understand. Now things are much better for me at least that I have an office, you can see an office, they can see people, I have a team working with me because in Bangladesh what do you see or even the South, uh, subcontinent what we say, the India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, we have this thing called social status, right? If you have an office, then you're well accepted. They're nice, they're now happy, they're very proud. And I see that they, my mom gossip with the, her friends that, hey, my son, have you seen my son's photo on Facebook? <laughs> receiving that award. And I was like, cool, oh, that is what we wanted. So this is my second startup. So my parents have seen me go from starting my first company in university, then going into corporate life and then building a startup again. So my parents both come from a corporate background. So they had always kind of motivated me to kind of follow their footsteps and, and move into that corporate lifestyle. So when I decided to go on my own again, they were, are you sure that this is the right decision? Are you sure that you want to give up your stable job? And what are the implications around your future? But as soon as I kind of laid out the parts and what I was trying to build and, and the problem that we're solving, they've actually been extremely supportive. And they were one of my first customers at Doro. My dad is actually an entrepreneur and he's been an entrepreneur his entire life. So he was the one that actually was encouraging me to move over to do the startup together with him. So I actually work with him now. So actually it was more of, we were discussing how I would quit my job in order to do a startup. So my family's always been in business. So I think it's quite natural for them to go, I think it's okay for you guys to try this, for you to give this a go. So it wasn't a big no-no, I suppose. The only reasons my dad gave me blessings because we shared the same patience. I was kind of born into a scrappy hustler mindset where I'm selling lemonade and taking money from adults when I was a young kid. So this has been something I've been preparing for for a very long time. And they're very enthusiastic and happy that I'm, I'm following my passion. Well, you need to reframe the question because it is not also about informing parents, but also my wife. <laughs> informing the parents was pretty easy because literally they don't care what I do. Moreover, the discussion was with wife especially, you know, like, uh, you know, who's going to run the house and starting up means you, you also not getting your market salaries. And that's besides all the convincing went through and also having kid makes it things much more difficult. That's why I get my wife not only sacrificed, but uh, also is very supportive. We building DQ. I started the startup right out of university. So it wasn't that I quit my job, it's more like I had to reject a job offer. I remember my mom and dad had a very, very different reaction. And she was like, well, Ryan, how much money would you make at the, that job offer? And how much money would you make at the startup? And I was like, well, obviously I'm gonna make less at the startup, but potentially if you talk about pure personal finance goals and there's a big risk, but I could potentially make a ton more. And she's like, I'll do the startup, do the startup. <laughs> so she was like, what? So my dad, however, actually was a lot more kind of sat me down. I remember it was a one hour phone call because this was the decision I had to make ASAP. And we weighed down all these like pros and cons, just, like one by one checklist, right? So one of them, I was kind of share what they were like, learning velocity, a pay, potential career development, if the startup failed, or if I changed jobs in banking, where would I go next? Would I be stuck in banking? Can I shift over really quick? At the end, I remember my dad and I made a deal. He was like, okay, look, Brian, you have a year, that's it, right? If in this year you fail, you can't raise any funding, you don't get like customers to use your product, then you go back begging for that job. <laughs> and I was like, okay. But if in the year you do well, like let's say you uh, people are using the product, you're learning a lot personally and all, as well as a company, and you've raised funding and, and everything, like everything seems to be going at the right pace. Like I don't expect you to be a, at Series C in a year or whatever, but everything seems to be going at the right path. Then let's talk about it in a year. And actually that conversation happened like two months ago. So yeah, and he was like, oh, well done, Ryan. Like, you, you know, we, we had the deal, so we'll talk about it. And then, well, here we are continuing it. So that, that's how the conversation went. I think a lot of it is I want to tell them when I have, I, maybe it's just me, like I, 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 like when I have the success I want, like maybe when we have our first round and we're raised and to show some sort of um, success. Not that we haven't, but at the moment, it's my second startup that I've done and I've done this before. And I think I have a lot higher expectations of myself as well. So when that happens, my plan is to take them out on a nice dinner and be like, hey, mom, dad, doing this. Hope you like the dinner. Okay, let's hope they don't watch this video then. Yeah, I, 
Yeah, sometimes I see my mom commenting on my stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs>